Hello, beautiful people around the world. This is NexHD, and I have a gameplay for you. And my topic is back to Battlefield 3. And that is basically everything. I don't even need to explain even a thing. You know exactly what I mean. I am not playing Battlefield 4 until these patches are out that everyone is now announcing that you that you can up the tick rate in the upcoming patches, which means that the tick rate, um, if you are not familiar with that, and if you are really not familiar with that, I pity you. But for those who are really not familiar with the tick rate, that means the transfer rate of the information packages being sent out and computed basically by the game and by the service of Battlefield 4 and, and 3 and every game that is online. And in Battlefield 4 it's 10 hertz, which means that it has a repeating time of 10 times a second, which means every 100 milliseconds it gives out any information that has been uh, produced so far basically on for the whole game for your client and everything so that is quite low comparing it to counter-strike for example which is on 60 hertz which is six times as much basically and um, uh, it goes up to 100 so it, it's so crisp and so perfect responsive that you cannot even you cannot compare Counter-Strike to Battlefield because Battlefield has, has so much more going on and Battlefield, ten, uh, Battlefield, ten, <laughs> Battlefield 3 has a tick rate of 30 Hertz as I've heard so far and Battlefield 4 has a tick rate of 10 and it is so atrociously bad that you cannot even really win a fair gunfight because it is just this 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 fraction of a second that really matters every single bullet that you fire from a weapon has to hit and has to respond perfect in time if it just gets uh, rigged to a um, scale of 10 times a second that is quite less if you compare it now to a gun that shoots 800 times a second oh, uh, a minute I'm sorry whatever what did I just say a minute just divide that by 60 and you still have like over 100 and it just blows my mind if you have a global timer that when the timer is active every 10 milliseconds then computes the whole thing that is going on and all these par partial seconds that like go on for i don't know five milliseconds this one bullet that travels in this five milliseconds and hit the target that makes him die won't matter because you have to wait for the other 95 milliseconds for the bullet to actually count. And this gritting system doesn't make sense. And you cannot really avoid it, but they are testing it and I hope that it comes out soon. Because if, if, if it's not there, I, I cannot play Battlefield 4. And that's the last thing that I'm gonna say about that, because I don't want to hate on that game. Battlefield 4 is a great game so far. That is my only problem, basically, they have with it, the net coding issue, if you want to address it like that. That's why I go back to Battlefield 3 and I I don't know why, but the, the weapon behaviors and those weapons that I'm used to because I'm like col colonial level 100, shit bucket fraction joint. I'm just used to my set and my things and everything and I, I feel so comfortable. Even though I'm losing and I'm not doing that well, I feel comfortable and that is all what is gaming about for me. The main thing is that I want to feel comfortable. If I play Team Fortress, I feel comfortable because I, I know everything that I really need to know. <laughs> wow, that is great. I know how I have to react, how my timing is, everything, these, these little things, all the details. I know that and that is why I love Battlefield 3 so much because I've, first of all, spent a lot of time in it and second of all, I just like it. I, everything just fits together and just, yeah, that's it. Okay, that is my commentary. Oh yeah, in the end, basically, I have a hacker, I think, that on this server, which is a engineer. I don't really remind his name because I cut it now so you can see it. He has, I think, an invincibility hack, not an aimbot, nothing. He's not really good. But I, I just encountered him two times, but that was enough for me to actually judge that he was a hacker. In fact, I um, do not want to announce that, like, just out, out of hatred or because I'm mad, because there are many people who are better than I, and still I don't call them hacker, but that is that was very obvious. Because he, he, he wasn't able to get knifed, he didn't receive any knife damage. As soon as he received damage, however, he regenerated it, if I was right about that, because I... Um, not right now talking to a blank screen and that is very not professional of me but still here we go so what is your opinion about that hacker not hacker whatever that is not really um 
my thing to decide because I don't care. But I, I care about what you guys say, so here we go. That is coming to you for now. Wasted six minutes of your time and my time, though I enjoyed it, so it's not really a waste of my time anyways. I hope you enjoyed it too, and keep it up as always, people. By the way, I got a new microphone. Yes!